Hello, I wanted to introduce you to my Microcopter Quad X-Frame with detachable uh, camera mount. Uh, I built this copter uh, frame from scratch. I'm using the exact same modular type design on the bottom with my hexacopter, which is nearly finished. Uh, for the top dome, the dome plastic dome I used is from a, a YUFO. And um, I have this mounted to the top of a CD case. The good thing about this is it looks nice when you're flying and when you want to work on your copter, you take it off. You have your CD case here and you just use the regular top. It doesn't look very good, but it's very practical when you work on your copter. Put this on and now you have a nice base. You can flip it upside down. You can use this to uh, work on the bottom of it without damaging any of the components inside. And you can also use it uh, to find out if you have your center balance just right. As you can see, the battery is inside this modular type of design on the bottom. And I'll show you how we attach the, lamp, the uh, camera mount. First thing I do is remove the Velcro parts here and here. I, this is the camera mount. You can put uh, any kind of camera in it. I have a camcorder here. I have a second wire that goes into a still camera that I use that mounts the same way. It's a different hole in the bottom. It, of course, has the roll and the nick. Uh, I have a um, vibration control dampening uh, type of foam here, and it's secured on with Velcro. What you would do is, you take your, it has its dedicated own transmitter also, mounted to here so the transmitter goes with the camera mount. So you can see I have a secondary transmitter on the copter itself, and I only use this for first person view when I have a first person view camera usually mounted permanently to the front of it. Other than that, this isn't used when I'm using this. You put your camera mount on. I already have it pre-measured pre, uh, to know exactly where the center is of gravity for this. And this is just about where it is right here. So I'll take it around. And what I do, I use the Velcro strips. Stick down here and run through. Pull it through. Give it some tension. And that's one of them attached. Uh, the next leg I bring through. Second one is attached. And the front ones. And that one is attached. And now the last leg. And now this leg here is attached. Now to keep the battery secure, this will come up and we'll Velcro right under here. And then around in the back, we'll come up and the Velcro right onto the back. Battery is locked from the Velcro from a couple different sides. Now I have to power up uh, the mount. So we can flip it back over. I change tops. Put the good looking top back on. That's in place. And I put in the transmitter into the camera. That's done. I put in the power for the transmitter to the power supply. That's done. And I bring the servo drop downs in. I hook up the next servo. And I hook up the roll servo. And that's all there is to it. And we'll power it on in just a second. Okay. I'm going to face it towards the camera. I have my transmitter turned on. I uh, use one of these as a on-off switch. my transmitter and I uh, do calibration. And now she's ready to go. As you can see, everything is working perfectly. 
It's a very stable flying uh, microcopter. Camera mount works great. It's uh, very strong. And it's quickly interchangeable within one minute to take it off here and put it on another one. Yep, hope you like this little demonstration.